have to uh, make do. The last, last one I'll probably be able to have time uh, to go through with you is now what I'd like you guys to do is write the equation in slope intercept form. Um, but now we're just given two points. So again, the first thing I'm always looking for when I have a problem like this, Brandon, is and Jordan, is to be able to identify, are one of these points the y-intercepts? Are either one of these points in my y-intercept? No, because remember, there'd be 0, comma, whatever the, the value is in the y-axis. So I know um, the next thing is determining the slope. Well, neither of these points are the slopes. However, I do know using the slope formula, I can identify what the slope is. Right? Just the change in the y-coordinates over the change in the x-coordinates. So therefore, in this case, the change in my y-coordinates, I have x, y, x, y. So I have 1 half minus 1 fourth divided by negative 3 eighths minus 3 halves. Now you notice in this case that neither of my um, fractions have the same denominator. But fortunately, I can quickly have them have uh, common denominators if I just multiply this fraction by 2 over 2 and this fraction by 4 over 4. Therefore, now I obtain. 2 fourths minus 1 fourth divided by negative 3 eighths minus 12 eighths. Right? Now I subtract across. This becomes uh, 1 fourth divided by 15, negative 15 eighths. And just as we mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, we want to multi we want to uh, multiply by um, multiplying by the reciprocal. So I say 1 fourth times a negative 8 over negative 15. I can simplify that to give me 2. So that gives me a negative 2 fifteenths. Now I know what my slope is, and I need to determine I need to use one of these points. right? Remember before, once we knew the slope, I know what the slope is. m equals negative 2 fifteenths. Right? Does everybody, hold on. Do you see how I found the slope? Right, they have the same denominator. So everybody understands I have the slope. Now that I have the slope, do I have a point I could use to plug in for x and y? Yeah. Yes, and it doesn't really matter which point you uh, want to pick. You can you know, really pick anything you, you like. Um, I, I'm going to prefer to pick this problem. So I'm going to pick or this point. But it really doesn't matter which point that you choose. So now I take y, which will be 1 fourth, is equal to um, negative 2 fifteenths times 3 halves plus b. Now I multiply across, so I have 1 fourth equals um, here that I can divide out, so a negative 3 fifteenths plus b. Then again, to solve, I'll add 3 fifteenths. And therefore, I have. 1 fourth plus 3 fifteenths equals b. To get common denominators, i got to multiply by 15 over 15. 4 over 4. 15 over 60 plus 12 over 60 equals 27 over 60, which we can reduce. We can divide 3 on both of those, which would be 9 twentieths as I simplify that. So that's my y-intercept, and I have my slope. So my final equation is y equals negative 2 fifteenths x plus 9 twentieths. Yeah.